okay so, hello guys so welcome in today's video guide so okay i will move through the process of uh writing our first uh atm machine uh, program using c plus plus okay so make sure you have your dev c plus plus or any other c plus plus compiler on it let's begin coding okay so on the screen what you have to do right we'll start by the usual the hash include io stream since i'm going to be using uh, this uh, fun this clear screen function i'm going let me just uh, input this header file the uh, std lib dot h then you write using namespace std then I'm going to start by saying void, declaring a system function which we need to call in our main program. So this one is called void uh, account dashboard. So let me just short account dash. <coughs> this is the point which we are going to put um, the dashboard, the, the kind of like the, what's being showed on the ATM screen like the account information deposit withdraw exit etc so these are this well we'll be just typing in the c out functions here nothing else just c out functions and using the um tables tab space in this program so let me just start okay so first of all we're going to start by introducing this to the people on two okay okay let me just copy this part more like uh, account dashboard that's what we're going to write here you can write whatever you want dash board just like that then i'm going to put end line here okay i forgot the same column then i'm going to now i'm going to start by writing <coughs> our first option will be account information information then i'm going to put some slash tab slash tab so that you can put a sp the space between account information and the, and the let's say the deposit option two will be deposit end line just like that then another one our third option will be okay so more information if we need some more information from from this let me just write this one more well okay more services yeah or more options just like that okay tab then i'm going to write withdrawal or withdrawal yeah withdrawal here we want to make it withdraw on option four <coughs> just like this then i'm going to go and put my end line so that it can go to the next line then on this one the other line let me just put something like uh, option okay option number five just then what are we going to put on option number five now since we asked for more information deposit withdraw so there's something which is missing like okay we need to inquire the balance inquire so that we can check our balance our bank balance this is the most important part in in a in an atm system then on my sixth part option what do we put here okay we said with okay this is the spelling of withdrawal i just messed up then uh, let's say a user want to change a pin okay let me just put this one pin change just like that then end line okay let me put the same colon then see out here i'm going to put option seven i think that's the last one <laughs> this one is a long one exit okay or, or log out let me just say uh in the brackets log out just like that i think that will be okay then i have to put this one ht okay this one the end line yeah so let me put the last line yes which i'm going to put uh just this line so that our program will just look good you know 
okay i have to put like the next line here let's see yes yes okay now we're about to write our int main our main function our main part of the program so only return zero as usual our same colon as you can see uh so test out this function which we did create here we have to call it from the main function so enable for us to call it we just write the function name account dash and then we put this brackets parenthesis then we put our same colon here okay now let's just click on save and then we're going to compile and run our program so that you can check if everything is correct here so as you can see something is missing our same colon is missing here. let me just put it just like that and let's run it again so yeah as you can see this is how the program will just look like yeah account dashboard this is the options which we can choose from okay now let me just fix this part with your Okay, let me just fix my code to be clean. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. The deposit part, yes. And yeah. Now, already saved. Now, so let's just go at this part where the programming, the, the real deal is. So, since uh, we're going to be using account information deposit a withdrawal balance so let's declare this uh figure these systems which we want to be using so let's just declare an initial we we'll just initialize the values as we go on to the program so um we're going to on the balance right we're going to be using an integer so let me just say int okay okay let's start by input yeah okay let me just do this Okay, let me just put a space int input yeah just like this then what's next so after an input uh, the person will check the deposit let's say deposit then what's the other one uh we want okay no 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 let's just put the integer will be just uh, okay will be balance here yes for just for the sake of this program input and balance then double we're going to be storing some long uh, figures here numerical figures so let me just put deposit then uh, let's declare uh, another variable called a uh, withdrawal okay let's just say withdraw then uh what's next so we have four options here so like six of them will be just figures right pin change will be a pin okay so let me just do the same colon let me just go there and say pin in case we use this function but we're going to deal with the deposit and withdrawal and balance inquiry first of all this is just for the design program okay just like this is there anything else which you are missing maybe uh, account information like the username so this one uh, okay let's just say the program is oh ask us so, okay let's just do it so now we'll be using a character of an array which is called name right which holds about 32 characters just like that so now what's next so we have declared our variables which are going to be using right okay so what we're going to do guys is um we'll be using the dual loop so that we can loop the whole pro the whole process until <laughs> until the person presses the exit button which is the logout button or the input seven just like that then the other thing we're going to be using a switch statement where we're going to store uh these all functions which we want to be putting so this is it so first of all let me just write do our do while loop as we have everything on this part so let me just do do this <laughs> do this action yeah. while what while okay 
while okay this will while okay while she input is not equal to what seven input is not equal to seven just like that so let me just compile and run our program so that you can check for errors so that we can correct it before we go on as you can see uh this part of our program works right it really works so as you can see there's no error so let's begin our program so now since i mentioned that we're going to be using a switch uh okay statement switch okay so we're going to write switch here yeah. so switch just like that then in our bracket so we need to get an input from the user so i'm going to write input within this brackets then uh after that what now i'm going to do this then we're going to write our first case statement case one okay which is what account information so let's just put it like this is going with this one is going to be a c out of let's just put my name as okay user okay let me just say welcome okay let's just say okay 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 no account <coughs> name just like that but you see tunes just for this meantime so that we can go to the main important part of the program then uh, after this we're going to put a break here okay so let's just test it out if if there's any error so that we can correct it okay just like that as you can see so now before this whole thing right so as we checked that everything is well right so i'm going to write a kind of like a small <coughs> in output a c out statement here yeah, so that we can so that we can ask the user to imp enter a certain input so that it can be captured in this switch statement right okay so i want to say okay see out just like inputs no fancy things here input you're going to put a space here and let me just put okay something which i missed yeah let me just put in end line okay just like that let's see is everything well yeah now we'll put in a okay a c in okay just like that uh input <coughs> as you can see let's just test it out so let's run compile and run it's a uh, input let me just input one and you see the whole thing goes on because we haven't finished yet so let's continue our with our program okay so now okay let's go on to the uh, the option number two so okay option number two is deposit right just like that so on our deposit right we're going to say case two just like this then we're going to produce something here <laughs> okay on the deposit part so the person wants to deposit right then uh, he clicks on two then he, what you expect is like uh, is something like enter amount just like this enter amount then there will be a dollar sign here because that's the currency we should be using okay, let me just do this so that it be good and yeah so now we're going to it will request enter amount then that amount will be stored in what uh, in balance right in balance yeah, as you can see no it, it will be stored in balance right but for the meantime it should be stored in the deposit part just like this so i'm going to write c in deposit just like this then we do this so the moment the person uh enter this part is the program is going to do this let me just put this break sign this break okay not no, also not forgetting the switch statement should have a break here 
just like this so that it will not go <laughs> wild so now let's just compile and run so that we can check it out <coughs> deposit deposit that's the correct spelling okay the end use enters to write and amount the you just enter in and, um, and he clicks enter in the program go to the next thing so yeah now there's no error at this part so let's continue so after the person what we need to do after the person enters deposit right the, the amount is being added to what to the balance so currently let's just put our balance is okay let me just go to the part our balance is assigned to more like uh let's just show us yeah <coughs> just like this then you go here then what we do here what you have to do balance so what we put a positive positive sign here then a equal sign <coughs> then we put deposit so let me just comment this part so that you can see so what i've done here is like is the same as saying balance is equals to balance plus deposit just like that that's the same thing but we have written it in a in, in a unique way which i would do yeah just like that <coughs> so let's say yeah now the user have done this okay this one this program part is fine right balance is equal to balance plus deposit so the amount is added to the balance account the users is account balance just like that so now we're going to look at number three the, the part the function the option or the input three more services just like that so what we have to do right there right? go under so now we we'll put case three if the if the, if the user enters na, a, an input of number three a numeric number three this one will be shown on the screen let's just say more service <laughs> okay let's just do it like this this so that we go look at the uh, we will look we will style this one up uh in the next uh, video so that let's just do it this feature is under <laughs> construction just like this construction uh -huh. Then I'm going to put a in line here. I think this one is fine. Caution. Ah, yeah, that's what this one is okay. The video will be too long. Okay. <clears throat> so let's just test it out. What's the error here? Let me see. We haven't put a same column here. Okay, let's compile and run the program so that we can check our okay. Let the user enters three this feature is under construction well good let's go to the next part <coughs> so on our case for what are we going to do uh, we're going to deal with withdrawal so we're going to uh allow the user to take some money away from his or her account so let's look at it cash uh no i mean case for not cash just because we are, we are dealing with this program, I'm thinking of cash. <coughs> okay, case four. Okay, the person wants to withdraw, right? Enter withdrawal amount. Yes, just like this in US dollars. You can put your currencies, but I'm choosing this one. Okay, just like this. Then see in we're going to as the backend part of the whole banking system which you are creating right uh the what we want to capture what the amount this the we use want to withdraw from his account okay so let's just capture this so we're going to put this part withdrawal which you have exactly the same we have to copy the same if you have memorized it just 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 write it down so let's go back to it okay paste it and put our same colon here but then let's see uh this one we do not want hackers right in this kind of like our banking system so this one will be highly scripted so we're going to be using uh <coughs> an if statement you got it right okay if right balance okay no if <coughs> withdraw with 
withdraw well amount is is it less than less than or less than or equal to <laughs> okay less than or uh, or equal to balance or just say you ain't allowed to make any withdraw okay insufficient funds to what to process the, the transaction just like that okay let me just put a c out here which is going to go to the person's f face that here yeah, dude uh you do not have enough fund so in safi okay don't don't blame me on spelling insufficient funds in bold yeah <laughs> yeah okay to perform just like this perform oh, come on what's happening in my spelling perform this transaction transaction just like this and i'm going to put an n in line okay you might think that yes we're done but we are using an if else statement so we have put we're going to put an else statement uh, however okay if uh if the user right if the user's account here funds right we are going to allow him to take his money away because yeah because he can't take our money yeah we, we can't just give the user our money so he's going to take what's in his account yeah so if else else print the oh, else do this one so balance okay minus is equals to withdraw so we are going to take uh, a certain figure from balance yeah just like that now we have to write our break okay let's just test our program so that it is so that it ch checks for any error as you can see there is an error if withdraw there is an error here missing let's check again yeah let's just check this part the user enters four right we draw amount let me put i want to remove like 23,533 enter wow the program did not even print out something because we didn't <laughs> it's not yet working so let's just go with it okay so this one is kind of like in my in my okay i think i have used the wrong function let's just see now okay for i want to remove this amount insufficient funds to perform this transaction so if we had uh, just submitted this program to the to our it department or which are going to deal with combining the atm with the with the code we are going to make big, big losses in our business so at least we have discovered it by just testing as we run the program so now we're going to deal with case um for option five or withdraw is yes, our balance inquiry so we're going to check in our balance whether we have a certain amount if whether the user have an amount so let's just create it create this for the user so say the user have entered option number five right okay then what we need to do right ah uh, it's balance inquiry okay so we just do this to the just push this one to the user's face okay your balance is yeah okay just like this is this all right then this one will just put balance just like this then we break this one out then do this then let's just run i know we have no money in our account so this one will be embarrassing input five your balance is zero dollars which is not good so let's just say any user who opens our account since he has paid to open an account right we will just uh give that person at least uh something good just like uh fifty dollars deposit bonus yeah this one is a deposit bonus so let's, let's just run it again we want to be a good bank <laughs> bank 
So five. Your balance is fifty dollars. Do you wish to make a deposit? Yes. This is the other another input which will be good. Do you wish to make a deposit? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This one is exciting. Okay. Yeah. Let's put this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me put a next line. Do you wish to make a deposit with us? A deposit just like that. Just like that. And L. Okay. And then after this, the whole program is you want just going to clear the screen. I know, not now. Not now. <laughs> not now. Uh, yeah. So we'll just fix it out. So let's go to the part. Uh, the option number six pin change okay now let's go let's see if we have okay our pin our initial pin let's just give it um let's just assign our pin to more like the default one let's this our ours will be much more different five four and let's say one two three just like that that's our default pin okay let's go to the case number six case six this one is exciting for me okay say out okay enter new pin just like that okay no, okay the same thing which i was like uh, which i was thinking right you know on your phone if you want to change your pin on your mobile phone or a bank or a bank account or a even on facebook or any other platform online they will ask you for the previous pin so this one should be ex should be almost the same as a banking system right so we just have to do this so <coughs> enter <laughs> enter okay let's just put a next line here enter okay or okay. confirm previous pin confirm previous pin password pin yeah just pin so the user will just enter just like just like this uh -huh, okay let's see uh, I think this one is okay then we do this right uh okay so the pin will be placed on this other side of the screen and yeah then we will see in okay see in pin just like this right yeah okay then if statement now if statement is always coming back okay if pin is equal to pin is it possible let's check then enable the enable okay no 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 if pin okay uh, let me just check it let me let's just do this pin is equal to pin <laughs> i don't think this one is is uh no then pin is equal to user's input okay okay let's just say see out enter new pin just like this uh -huh. just like this then see in <coughs> pin i think this one will be good right so what we have to do is just to check out if this one is is a good <laughs> okay is, is, is this one is a good uh operator to use okay let's just check okay i've entered six right enter confirm previous pin uh, let me say one i think let me just try to create this one this is a pin enter new pin so that means this one is incorrect right so somehow let me just try another one okay so so this one is not good so this okay now if input is equal to pin okay so if p is equal to pin 
so okay let me just say a new pin so i'm going to declare a new a new variable here which i didn't think we were going to do okay which i'm going to just okay let me just declare it in this part so that it won't mess up the previous part which you which you have done okay now let's just let me just say new pin just like that okay let's check if this one will be good okay no something okay okay new pin no 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 if old pin yes just like this <laughs> forgive me if old pin well I just need i just want to make this one program so good and yeah if old pin is cost is equal to pin right accept old pin something is wrong here accept old pin let's just try to run it if okay enter six okay let me just write uh, anything here so yeah it didn't give us an option so it means it it worked so else print this one you tell this user that try again incorrect pin in okay this one will be bold in correct pin then try again yeah <laughs> okay this one will be a kind of a, like a do while loop <laughs> within another program so let's just we just do this at the end of the program at the end of the video okay let me just put in line here and go to the important part of the program but i think you guys are learning something okay there is a break okay i forgot to put a break right okay break here okay let's run it again okay enter six then i enter an incorrect pin incorrect pin target just like that so this one is good okay so let's not jump to the other part of the of the program before finishing this one so what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to put a next line here. Then I'm going to copy the whole thing here, right? I'm going to put a place uh, like a do while loop. Do this. Okay, let me just remove this part. Do execute this piece of code, which is within this curly brackets. Okay, let me just put this one on this part. Okay. Eh, well, <laughs> well, what now? This one is a tricky part. Do this while, uh, okay, let me just check this one out. Well, uh, in user, we will pin is not okay, let, uh, is not equal to pin let's check if this one is proper syntax okay enter six yes then i put an incorrect pin so it will not run so let me okay this part of the code okay, i'm going to do this well pin is not in code to less okay wow well, let me try this old pin is not equal let's okay i've forgotten all here instead of let's see okay it's going to continue doing this and our whole program is going to blow so well yeah so kind of like it's kind of like messed up so let me just <laughs> cancel this for the moment and let's deal with the most important part of our program okay we're going to look at it so 
okay if old pin is not equal to pin right yeah then the user should you enter enter a new pin this one so this one will be a new pin just like that and then if not it will be incorrect so let's say uh our, let's just check it out enter six then five four one two three ah is it is this one? two three i forgot my user i just forgot the password which my pin which i did set which is so embarrassing okay one two three okay so let's just do this compile and run six uh -huh. five four one two three and a new exactly now we're going to end our new pin so our new pin will be let's say one two three four five six just like that exactly so this part of our program is correct so let's go on <clears throat> yeah so now as we've did our case six part we're going to jump to the following one option seven exit which will be uh <coughs> our case statements number seven which we are not going to write because it's being defined here well input is not equal to seven is the program should continue running okay let's see uh now that i enter seven right the program what not continue just exit but let's say uh i enter this one let's just test it out compile and run then i want to make a deposit right click deposit enter amount then i enter amount then the program will just close but we need to do this again so that the program will continue running until we exit so what you, let me just do this okay exit what we need to change right so we're going to clear our screen and this one will get exciting okay right after input right yeah we're going to clear our screen so the function which we are going to use to clear our screen will be called um clear screen so it, it can be different on your site okay so it's called something like a system what in brackets clear screen okay then we put our same colon here so in my right here so okay i left some quotes here clear screen just like this so let's uh now i remember that i did put my do while loop at the wrong part so we have to put it before the user insert any input so forgive me let me just put it here i think it's good now yeah let's run our code after the user enters an input right what i'm hoping for is that uh it will just clear the screen and ask for another uh, another input so let's just say account information okay bonus symptoms just like that all right let's run again now another another input okay make a deposit right then i enter my deposit five hundred dollars right the next what's next is not asking me to go back to the program which means is there is an error we need to go back to the program so that it keep on looping until we click the exit button because entering amount in amount is not an exit option so let's just go and see okay deposit rate yes where did i put my do loop do this input yes okay let's just look at this right okay uh something which i'm saying which is not even going well here okay the, what i need to do right uh, say the, uh, the user in the, enters an option like option one right and uh, okay the uh, user enters enters into the into the platform right and this account dashboard shows up then he is prompted to he or she is prompted to enter any of these options after clicking an input then the 
the whole system we have to prompt the user again to enter another uh, to enter again so what we need to do right so we need to show this dashboard right after the user so i'm going to remove this dashboard from this part since we were testing it so i forgot to put it after within the do while loop entering here we enter it here and what i figured out let's go back to the code yeah i did put a break state the break statement here which is not correct it should be within the switch statement so i'm going to remove it and just put it here paste it here then i'm going to hope and run the program again checking if this one if there is an error so that we can correct it before we call it a day <laughs> okay let's click on compile and run and let's see okay account dashboard okay input so i'm going to enter my input account information okay uh account name bonus symptoms just like that and this one is not clear so we have to put kind of like an end 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 line at this part of our code so let me just go to the code then on case one right in front of the username which you can change by the way when you get the, the source code within the description or within the comment section we have to do this okay right after this code put end line so that you look good okay uh let me just compile and run it again okay just like that as you can see account name bonus symptoms the user's name okay this part is good so now let's check on option number two our account here remember our account here 50 dollars right so let's go there we want to deposit a, 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 an amount which can be memorized okay we go we select option two then press enter want to deposit like i will add another extra 55 dollars in our account just click enter then account dashboard we are back again so we want to check if there is really if the if our money was added into our account right then we click fi option five then we enter as you can see your balance is 105 dollars that means our money was added successfully within this account in this bank so now we want to check if our we were able to withdraw the money from this whole thing so we want to try this other part which we were dealing with right? we want to withdraw like 200 dollars so let's try like we want to steal from the bank or we also want to try by luck in case if there was another deposit bonus from nowhere okay so i'm going to click on four then we click enter so let's write 200 dollars yes click enter insufficient funds to perform this transaction so let's see if our money will truly detect it so let's just go on balance inquiry so click five i hope this one works as you can see still we have a 105 dollars in our account so we want to check if if we, okay let's say we want to remove the whole uh like 75 dollars from our account and so that we can check if the deposit bonus was working so let's just grab it faster faster <laughs> okay now what to do is say enter option four click enter then uh what i'm going to do right i'm going to enter 75 i'm not greedy i just want to take my 75 dollars from the account then click enter okay something like let's check if let's check the balance again enter five as you can see we have 30 dollars in our account so let's go back and fix all the all this interface on so after like like after the the, the system shows us this is our balance right it should leave a space in between here and after making a withdrawal right the bank should tell us that yes we have successfully deposit on a withdrawal we have successfully withdrawn 
just like that so that it looks nice so let's go and put our end end line statements here so first of all this feature is under construction yes this one is good uh enter our draw amount yes the withdraw amount have been withdrawn but now we want to tell the user that we have successfully withdrawn this amount this amount okay so see out okay now you okay let's put a line okay next line like this a small letter okay a withdraw successful yeah just like that with Draw successful. Yeah. <coughs> then okay, withdrawal off is successful. Withdrawal off. Is it is it good or we have successfully withdrawn? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You have yeah successfully. Okay, fully withdrawn. Uh, let's say this is the correct spelling. Okay, this amount, and then we're going to put a uh, withdrawal just like this. And yeah, then I have to put kind of like an end LOE end line statement because our program needs to look good and clean end line just like this so i'm going to be copying this and pasting it after every yeah after every code this one is good do you wish to make a deposit nah. then old pin nah this one is good 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 correct incorrect yeah okay deposit on deposit have successfully deposited where is it yeah this part okay see out you okay then you put this part okay the next line you have ah, come on what's happening here you have success fully deposited okay this amount of money Uh, deposit just like that uh -huh. and then I put end line here so let's just run it I hope there's no errors if there is errors we'll just fix it before we end the video okay so I have to deposit right I need to deposit like uh, yeah this is how much I want to deposit okay so it didn't tell me anything why because uh where did I put it okay i just put this one after break which is a bad way i hope you guys were seeing it i'm becoming a bit programmer here. let me just put it here so let's just run it again okay yeah so click on deposit then i want to deposit one two uh, then i do and just say uh, uh, we have successfully deposited this certain amount of money which is sort of like big <laughs> okay so now let's go back to the part where i have to correct this thing so this end line is not enough for my program oh, no 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 okay let me just try to do this i hope this one works and since i'm double 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 deposit yeah, okay let's try to run our program again from the very beginning from one okay account information okay on the one okay bonism tools yes account name yes this is my account then i want to make a deposit to my account okay uh, i want to make a deposit of five thousand dollars then yes you have successfully deposited five thousand dollars okay now i want to see if there are any more services which i can perform with this money maybe invest or anything okay click on three okay this feature is under construction well next time okay on option four so i want to try to withdraw my five thousand and fifty dollars so let me just write five thousand and fifty dollars 
insufficient fund to perform this transaction i cannot even withdraw money close to the total money in my account so let me just go and check my balance so input five how much money do you have yes i have five five thousand five five thousand and fifty us dollars in my account but as you can remember on this part of the code we said the user will be not able to withdraw money what's the if statement the user will be not be able to withdraw money if the withdrawal is greater than or equal to balance so that means he or she is able to withdraw 5049 let's just check so withdraw for 5049 let's see you have successfully withdrawn 5049 US dollars and let's check our balance okay our balance is five uh, let's just click five i've got one dollar in my account which is not good which we uh, you can do anything to the program which you can just change anything anything which you want so okay let me just uh yeah change pin let's check if our function of uh, this feature is working pin uh confirm previous pin let's see okay i think this one is the pin right uh, yeah this might be complicated or this one is the default one one two three four five okay incorrect pin try again oh shish okay see. enter pin okay uh confirm previous pin okay five four eh, three okay five four one two three okay enter new pin oh this one is interesting okay let me put my pin like eight zero uh nine zero one two three just like this and click enter now it didn't tell us if the pin was successfully changed so let's check if our pin is still the same enter six so let's end our old old pin incorrect pin so it has been successfully changed but we have to tell the user that you have successfully changed your pin okay so i'm just going to copy this part of the code just like this then i'm going to go um on this who is it on this part right so this one let me just put in a, in a bracket in this curly brackets because i'm more, okay just like this then i'm going to paste it here successfully changed your pin just like that okay then we remove this one yes just like this no use of writing this one okay let's try to run it again this one is the last run on our program and i hope this video was helpful for you because it's been a long one okay on uh, six okay let me try to enter the original pin one okay enter new pin okay nine zero five four and eh? you have successfully changed your pin exactly this is what i wanted exactly so now let's just log out from our program and let's call it a day so just by clicking the seven button and entering it will not show up that dashboard again so guys close <coughs> guys thank you for watching i hope this video was helpful for you for this one was an educational video on writing our banking system it's kind of like a banking system at, at the same time it's an atm system but you just name and you just name it the way you want so here's the thing uh as i mentioned before this call this whole source code you'll be able to find it in the description of the video there will be a document with this program attached or you find this one within the comment section i hope if youtube which in this pl whatever platform which i'll be using will allow us to do it so so guys if this one was helpful for you just give it a like a like just click on the like button if you wish to see more of these videos for my channel you know what to do guys you just click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell was whenever i click upload this kind of like videos on my channels it will just come to you and you'll be notified so thank you for watching see you in the next video yeah maybe it will be c plus plus programming or html we we'll never know so cheers bye for now